What's up everyone? Today's video is going to be a vlog. There's a lot of things that need TLC right now, so I'm going to show you all of it. I'm going to definitely be giving my hair some TLC because it is so dry right now. I don't know if I want to do an Olaplex number three treatment and or maybe just like a deep conditioning treatment. I don't know. My nails, look, my nails right now are completely ratchet and they need some TLC. This is what happens when I don't keep um, the gel polish on. I don't really bite my nails, but what I'll do is pick at the corners until they start to lift and then it's over with. I just like peel my whole nails off. I'm actually about to walk into my gym. I'm doing a class this morning. My gym is finally open again. And yeah, I've got my water right here. I'm ready to go. Also, oh, I got a brand new ice machine. I'm going to show you guys that when I get home. If you've ever been to Sonic, they have the good ice. I call it the good ice. It's actually called nugget ice, uh, but I love it. It's like the type of ice that you can kind of like chomp on and it's not going to break your teeth. Yeah, I think that is it for right now. I'm going to go in here and get this workout done. So I'll see you after I get out the gym. I just got home from the gym. I am so tired. I need more water. So I'm going to show you guys this new ice machine. Now this is not sponsored. They did send this to me. So I want to show you guys because it's amazing. It's a countertop machine. It's super easy to use and it's really compact. So if you are looking for like a compact ice machine where you can just have ice all day long and you don't need one like in your fridge, then this is a great option. Here is my beautiful ice maker. I just love this. So I just have it sitting here beside like where my microwave and stuff is. So you open this up, it makes 40 pounds of ice a day. In the morning, I just hit this little button and cut it on and it starts making ice. And then as you use it, you can keep cutting it back on to make more ice throughout the day. So good. Like, this is literally, it's the best kind of ice. It's insulated inside to keep the ice from melting and it is certified BPA free. And the best part about this ice is you can actually like chew on it, you know, without breaking your teeth. Now I also want to show you guys the wine cooler that they sent us. Now we don't drink, so we're not going to use it for wine, but we're going to use it for regular like sodas and waters and stuff like that. And this one we're putting in our basement. This is, this is part of our basement. It's kind of like a game room. We've got like it's basically set up for our youth. We are youth pastors. We always have young people over, so we've got the pool table, the foosball table, arcade, and all that stuff. So this is gonna be super handy, keeping some drinks cold at all times down here in the basement. So here is what the wine cooler looks like. If you are someone who drinks, it holds 23 bottles of wine. It is double insulated uh, to protect against like any UV rays. It has a little digital uh, temperature adjustment up there. And this is what it looks like inside. It's so nice. You can absolutely use this as a regular like drink holder. That's what we're gonna be using it for. It is super, super nice. I love how sleek it looks. It's gonna look great once we get everything like situated down here. Uh, we're supposed to be getting an actual like fridge and everything down here as well. So both of these are from the company New Air and I will have them linked in the description box if you're interested in these. Both of them are very compact. So yeah, so if you are looking for either one of these type of items for your home, then definitely check them out. Click the link below and you can see all the details about them. All right, so I just switched over to my vlog camera, so the quality is pro probably quite a bit better. I was filming on my phone. I'm getting ready to hop in the shower. This hair needs some tender love and care. I'm actually gonna go in and shampoo my hair with this today. This is the Love Your Curls uh, sulfate-free shampoo. And then I am gonna go in with a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment today because my hair is extra dry. I'll take it down so that you guys can see it, but I'm gonna go in with this. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners right now. Love Your Curls uh, deep condition and repair. And you leave it on for five to 15 minutes, but you can leave it on for up to 30 minutes with a plastic cap on your head just to help it to penetrate a little bit better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on while I'm in the shower. Here we go. I just took it down out of the ponytail. Oh my gosh, it needs to be washed so bad. You know when you could just feel like your hair just feels gross and dirty? That's, 
That's where I'm at right now. My hair has been washed and deep conditioned. Today, I think I'm gonna try a new product. I'm super excited because I've really been loving mousse lately. Um, I just feel like it works really well on my hair for the summer at least. So I'm gonna go in with this today. This is the Dippy Dee Doo Girls With Curls Curl Boosting Mousse which you guys know the gel is one of my all-time favorite gels, possibly my favorite gel of all. First and foremost, I am gonna go in with a leave-in, so I'm gonna use the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream. And during the summer, I also feel like I don't need to use two different types of cream. So if I use a leave-in, then I will just go in with a mousse or a gel next, or I will skip the leave-in and go in with a cream product and then follow it up with a mousse or a gel. So. I'm gonna go in with this first and then follow it up with this. And then I'm gonna use just a little bit of hairspray to give it a little extra hold. And we will see how our results turn out today. Sometimes you like to cry that I'm so ruthless. That other people treat you right With me you win but really what the truth is You be in your feelings every day, almost every night Now you making me think what you mean to me I be shining you up but you keep shading me So if you really think that I can be so rude Alright, so my hair is about 90% dry It's still a little bit wet at the roots but I'm gonna stop with my diffuser at this point. I'm gonna go put on some makeup and then I will come back and like scrunch out the crunch and everything, let my hair air dry the rest of the way. But I can already tell I am loving my results with this mousse. What I have found is that this mousse and the Curl Talk mousse, which I'm obsessed with also, both have polyquantineer, near, polyquatineum, I think that's how you pronounce it, polyquatineum 69. That's the second ingredient. The first ingredient is water, which obviously moisturizes your curls. Um, but the polyquantineum is what protects the hair against humidity, which is why I think my hair does so amazing with mousse. Anyhow, I'm gonna go put on a little bit of makeup and then I'll be back and I'm gonna scrunch out any type of crunch. It has a little bit of a crunch to it, but I think that's just from the hairspray to give it that extra hold. All right, so my hair is 100% dry now and I'm going to get ready to fluff it, but I did do a little bit of makeup. I have church tonight. We go to church every Wednesday night and tonight is Wednesday. So I actually used my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, which I have not used in probably like two years. It might even be expired, I'm not sure, but I forgot how much I loved it. I don't know why I don't use that more often. And this highlight, y'all, look at this. It is glowing. This is the Pixie Highlighter. I forget exactly what it is called as well. I'll have it in the description box. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start scrunching out, which really there's no cast at all. With this product, my hair feels extremely soft. Today, I kept telling myself it's not about volume. It's not about volume. I just want my hair to look nice and moisturized and defined. That is what I am getting here. All right, I am going to get my texture spray. Give me one second. These are, these are my two favorites right here. This one I like to use just at the roots. This is the Texture Dust by Pai Shao. It's the coolest, it's the coolest. I mean, it's it's literally like a powder. So you just kind of put it right where, did you see that little like puff of air? Right where you want some extra grit at the roots. This is how I get more volume in the front of my hair. And once I have those little puffs in there, I just kind of get my hands in there and it just gives it some more grip. I love, love that stuff for my roots. Of course, you guys already know this right here. This is the Sexy Hair High Tide Texturizing Finish Spray. I love this to just give my hair a little extra lift and a little extra hold. I'm obsessed with that mousse, the Girls With Curls mousse. Now it is time to head to church and maybe I'll get a few clips at church, um, we are singing tonight. Me and my daughter and the youth worship team are gonna be singing, so get a few clips of that. And I don't have time to do my nails right now. I really wanted to do my nails. Maybe I'll do my nails tomorrow and get a clip of it and then add it into this video. <laughs>
on. So it is the next day after church last night, we ended up going out to eat and then it was really, really late when I got back. So I did not film anymore. I'm gonna film a little bit today. This is what I did with my hair last night. I didn't even put a bonnet on it just because I was so tired. I just kind of threw it up in a messy pineapple and just left it at that. But my hair held up really, really well last night and it was so stinking humid. I just knew that my hair was like gonna fall flat, but it actually held up really, really well. I just wanted to take it down with you guys so that we can see exactly what it looks like the next day um, with that Girls With Curls mousse and um, see if I really need to do any refresh, which I probably won't do any refresh because I've got some errands to run and it's probably just gonna go up in a ponytail. So usually when I take it down out of, you know, a pineapple or out of the bonnet, I just kind of like let it be for, you know, like five minutes. Uh, so for this, I would not even refresh, but this is looking really good. Let me show you the back. I am so impressed with this mousse. Like I said, it was probably gonna go right back up in a little pineapple because I do have some errands to run. So here's the thing. I have been having shoulder issues for 10 years now. I've been to the doctor, I've had cortisone shots, I've done physical therapy, I've had x-rays, but I've never had an MRI on my shoulder. I just kind of dealt with the pain off and on for literally 10 years now. Um, and it's been flaring up for like four weeks and it's been so bad. I finally made an appointment with the doctor again. I did see a doctor like maybe eight years ago and then I've just, just been dealing with it ever since. Going to the doctor for that today and I don't know if they're gonna do more x-rays or what, but really I know I need an MRI. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We're gonna get that checked out today and see how that goes. I am gonna do my nails at some point today and I have a hair and makeup client this afternoon. Today is a really busy day for me, but Let's go ahead and get this day started. I just left the orthopedic doctor and basically I have to go and get an MRI, which I assumed was probably gonna be the case. They did do x-rays and they said that the x-rays look pretty good. Without having the MRI, he thinks that it is classic impingement syndrome with bursitis. So I'm not sure exactly what we will do going forward. I think we're just gonna hold off, wait till we get the MRI, see if there's a tear in there and then figure out what our course of action is going to be. I will keep y'all posted on Instagram stories. Say a prayer for me if you are a praying person. I'm just ready to not be in pain. So anyhow, I'm about to go in the gym and today I'm just gonna stick to some cardio because I don't wanna use my arm at all today. Hello, it is now the next day because I'm not great at this whole vlogging thing. I am gonna do my nails this morning and I wanna show you guys exactly how I do them because typically get a lot of questions on my Instagram stories especially about how I do my nails. So I do my own gel nails and this, whoops, this is the little thing that I use. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it down in the description box. This is the LKE Sun X9 Plus. I have my polishes here. I'm trying to figure out what the heck color I want to use, but I am going to use my Nail Attic Gel Polishes. Those have been my current absolute faves. They stay put for at least two weeks. I don't have any issues, and I'm just going to walk you through and show you exactly what I do. So the very first thing I do is just take some alcohol. I just have some alcohol in this little spray bottle. I like to spray all of my nails, and the first thing that I always do is go in and like cut off the cuticles and all of that. I don't do that every single time, but since my nails have been so jacked up, I did just get the cuticles off. What the alcohol does is it really dries out the nail bed so that the gel will stick and stay put. Here is what I'm using today. These are all by Nail Addict. I'm using their base coat, the No Wipe top coat, which is what I love. I, I hate when you have that sticky top layer that you have to get off. And then this is the color tanning session. This is my favorite color. It's like a little bit of a red, but kind of a hot pink at the same time. I just love it. The very first thing I'm going to go in with is of course the base coat and you just want to apply a nice thin layer. And then we will cure for about 30 seconds. And now it's time for the polish. So I'm gonna go in with one thin layer of polish. Mm 
did one coat and then I cured it for 60 seconds and I'm gonna go in with a second coat and then cure that for 60 more seconds. I've done two coats and can I just say, I hate when I let my nails get this short. This is why I have to keep gel polish on them or I will mess with them until they are literal nubs. I'm gonna go in with the no wipe top coat now and then you cure this and then we are done. Here is the color. I'm trying to get it in some natural light so that you guys can see it. I'm obsessed with this color. In natural light, it like looks bright, bright pink with just a hint of red in it. If you're looking for gel polishes, Nail Attic is amazing. They last really, really well and I haven't had any issues with them. I love them. I think my discount code is for like 30% off, so it's a good one. I also have a few PR packages, so I figured I would just unbox them here so that we can see what we got. One of them is already upstairs. It's the new Urban Decay Mascara. It's the new Lash Freak Volumizing Mascara. I actually already opened it and have been using it and I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I did get some new products from VT Cosmetics. I actually did a full review of some of their products on my channel, like, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so. And I'm obsessed with it, you guys. I had not jumped on the Korean skincare brand trend and I don't know what I was waiting for. This is their Pro Gloss line. It's just like the other line that they sent me, but this has like different benefits. So it has the capsule mask, the sleeping mask, which is my favorite. Oh my gosh, it will have your skin feeling like a baby's butt by morning. Pro Gloss Foam Cleanser. Then they have their Pro Gloss Mask. And Revlon sent me this adorable package. This bag is just so dang pretty. Here's the little insert that came with it. It is the Wonder Woman collection. So it comes with this cute little mirror. Nail polish, which is kind of similar to the color that I actually just used. It's just not gel. We have two colors of lipsticks here. This looks like a gloss. Liquid Armor Glow Pot. What in the world? I wonder if you would use this as a primer. It's like really thick. Let's see. I mean, it's beautiful but it's like really, really sticky. Might would use this when I don't have on any makeup. So let's just, let's just, I don't have on any makeup right now. So maybe just to like give my skin a little bit of glow. Now my face is super sticky. Liquid liner, glaze stick, silky shimmer eyeshadow. Maybe I'll do like a full makeup look with this. Oh, this looks really pretty. The Wonder Woman face and eye palette. Here, oh, this looks so, so gorgeous. What in the world? Whoa, okay, Revlon. These are gorgeous. Are you kidding me? These are so pigmented. Oh. MG. I have one more package and this is from Alafina. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Thank you so much Maria for sending these over. This right here is their spark formula and it's their premium fat burner and this is in a capsule form then their glow is hair skin and nails formula very cool this is their intermittent fasting shake so this is actually a shake that you drink their magic supplement and this is a natural pre-workout supplement green apple flavor mix it with eight ounces of water 15 to 30 minutes before your activity you know what i think i'm gonna try this today here's what the package looks like mix this packet in here Oh, it's green. A very natural smelling scent. I don't know about this. We're gonna find out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like really weird about flavors, so I don't know. This kind of smells weird, but I don't know. We're gonna try it. Oh Lord, let it be good. Ain't no way I could do that. I could tell that it smelled really, really like natural. And I, I mean, I've got some natural energy supplements that I love. It's not for me. It's it's not for me, sorry. But I definitely will be trying out the other, um, especially like the capsule supplements because I don't have any issues with that. But I'm really weird about flavors. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here since it's been over the course of three days now. I hope you guys enjoyed this like more casual type of video. And check the description box for any of the stuff that I mentioned in the vlog. I think that is it. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.